Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless of you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. God bless you, precious people. There is blessing tonight. God bless you, precious people. There is blessing for us tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everyone connecting. I have a blessed word for us tonight. And then I'm going to release a blessing to us. A blessing to us. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, good things are going to be germinating in your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Our God is good. Let's go ahead and bless His majesty. Let's bless His majesty. There is a sweet anointing with us tonight. Our Father, we love you. Our Father, we praise you. We celebrate you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Jesus. Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? For another time in the presence of God. There is, there is, there is a blessing coming our way. Very, very sharply tonight. Tonight is going to be very sharp. But the blessing will hit your life. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm excited to share a few things with us tonight. Wow, God bless everyone connecting. God bless everyone connecting. Sir Ellen, God bless you. Mrs. Kelechi, Mrs. Viola, God bless you. God bless you. Barista is on. God bless you, Barista. Um, Mrs. Balanle, God bless you, Madam Precious People, Mr. Gerard. God bless you, sir. So nice to see you today. Wow. Madam K is on as usual. Beautiful. God bless you, Madam. Um, and as many as I'm here to see your name, but the Lord bless you. Amana Malabara de Yada. No, me, yes, you. That song, Jolly Song of Thanksgiving. Oh, Sister Augustina, God bless you. God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. The blessings come your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Mrs. Joma is on. God bless you, madam. This is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is faithful. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to be sharing a few things with us that is going to bless us. And I'm going to be saying just very few prayers tonight and I will bless us. Do you know, beloved, that um, the Lord never really called us to an easy journey. He never designed the journey to be easy. But it will be worth it at the end. So any Christian, listen, precious people, 
any Christian that is always looking for the least resistant path in the kingdom may not attain his full potential or our full potential in God. Sister Grace, God bless you. From Lagos, God bless you. Any Christian, listen, precious people of God, I want to talk to you by the Spirit of God of the Lord tonight. Any Christian who is looking for the easy path in life, in the Christian dawn, may not experience the full expression of heavenly deposit in our life or in his life. Many times in the kingdom, those that follow the rocky path, they carry the master's nature. There could have been other way of saving humanity other than the cross, but that is the path the Lord has chosen. So anyone who is looking for easy path in Christianity, they say, yeah, just, just take it easy. You don't need to pray that much. You do need to fast. You don't need to have vigil. Just give your offering and that's all. No, it's much more than that. The Lord is looking for an army. A group of people that in season and out of season, they are ready. That's right. In season, out of season, they carry the nature of God. And such caliber of people, please understand what I'm trying to say. The heaven that you are now going is called the home of overcomers. Right? For he that overcometh, you study that in Revelation chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, is a home of overcomers. You have to overcome the flesh. Oh, you want to tell me, Pastor, just, just love praying every night? No, there is a flesh to contend with. Mm. You have to overcome the deception of this age. Please understand, the enemy of our souls is a master deceiver. He has so mastered it because he's operated with men over 6,000 years. He, he knows all the weaknesses of man. And yet, you must overcome him, the wicked one. You must overcome the enticement and allurement of this world. That is why we say, it is not a race for the chicken hearted. But you know what? It is the grace of God when it comes on your soul. The grace of God makes it easy. Do you understand? Imagine um, driving on a rough road. Very bad road. Now, depending on the vehicle you are using, there are vehicles you use, you really feel how bad the road is. <laughs> but there are other cars you will use and just cruise the bad road. The road is rough, it's rugged. And one of the things I said, um, when I go to the mountain, and I go with a low car, and you see bumping, and a lot of rock will be hitting. But when you go with maybe a jeep or something, of a, you, you discover it, it just glides. Though the road is rough, it's tough, there is a grace that makes it easy. So that is what we are looking at tonight. I want to talk about making decrees. Please listen, precious people of God. Um, I have a little... Uh, debate in my heart with the Spirit of the Lord about this subject because um, it's a very serious subject. Making decrees in the kingdom, this is highly powerful. In Job 22, verse 27 to 20, this is going to bless you, precious people. Don't forget what I've said. Those who will be soldier for the Lord in this end time, listen, listen. Uh, the majority of Christians that we are breathing now, they are not being um, released or being given the understanding of, of a soldier, of being tough in the spirit. 
might not be able to handle what is coming on the world because the earth is folding up. And what, what the assignment, one of the major assignments of my life is the issue of raising up of the army of God. That is, as an individual, you are strong in yourself, in the energy of the Lord. Whether there is pastor there, that was just an addition. But you know what to do to contact heaven. When there is a confrontation on your life, when you are suddenly surrounded by the halls of hell, you know what to do. A lot of people will not be able, you see what is happening in the nations of the world? Ukraine has millions of Christians, millions of God's people, they are in two months now. They are we willing now. Please pay attention. I want to talk to you about making decrees tonight. We may have shorter prayer to pray tonight, but I need to give you this understanding by the Spirit of the Lord. In Job 22, verse 27 to 28, my father, look at what it says. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him. And he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Before making decrees, you must make prayers. That is why I was having a little dialogue with the Spirit of the Lord. Do we need to talk about decrees now? Because the people that make the decree are the people that the energy of the kingdom is flowing in their soul. Oh, Malabande Rebe Suko Brendia. Lord, give your people this understanding. Before verse 28, verse 27 said, Thou shalt make your prayer to him. Do you understand? People that make decrees, they speak in the energy of the divine. When they say you are blessed, it's beyond the lingo franca, it's beyond the liturgy, it's beyond the words. B L E, right? S S, bless. It's beyond that. There is an energy that goes with decrease. And that divine energy is acquired when you tarry at the place of prayer. Malabanda Rababa. He said, thou shalt make your prayer unto him. You know, when Peter was caught in Acts chapter 12, you remember it from verse 1, the Bible tells us that James was caught by Herod. The church did nothing until James was killed. And then the Bible said, when he saw that that pleased the Jews, he, went, he proceeded further and arrested Peter. The Bible said, prayer was made by the church unto God for him. Prayer was made until heaven had to release an angel in spite of Peter's unbelief. Because when the angel came, uh, he never, he says, now I know. He never even believed. But there, there was a prayer made that releases energy of the van that makes angel to travel within the zone of the prayer individual. Listen, child of God. I'm talking about things that are not convenient or convenient. A soldier is being trained to prepare for war at all times. That is, you have appointment daily with the Lord 12 to 1. You see, I told you, you see, we are not sent to everybody. We are sent to raise an army. Okay? So, not many people understand our language. For those who have been sent to, when they hear our voice, they will understand in their spirit. That this one we are coming just Friday is to assist. But you have a schedule permanently, whether 12 to 1 or 10 to 10 to 11. But there is, there is a schedule in your life that permanently. And listen, once you are able to tack that in consistency, then very soon you begin to see the fellowship of spirit. Angelic spirit, heavenly beings. When they because spirit will watch consistency of man before they attach themselves to, to a man. Do you understand? 
when you become consistent and do a thing, a spirit will come from the divine and attach itself to you, then it now become a cruise, just a flow. So, until prayer is made, people don't enter the realm of decrees. However, what is a decree? A decree is an official command or order that has the backing of the law or constituted authority. A decree is a command that has the backing of heavenly government. So, when you make a decree on a matter, heaven sanctions it, heaven backs it up. When Moses said, let the ground open, heaven said, ground open. When Moses said, Lord, don't respect the offering of these people, heaven said, we don't respect the offering. That is, that is decrease. Malabondo robo santa ya kene malo soto liaba. So, decree, anytime we talk about decree, is an order, you order, you command. And then, heaven backs it up. But note, note this, it must be order in consistency with the law of the government of heaven. When you make decree, it must be in consistency, it must be in the, in the nature of the government you represent. For instance, in Exodus 22 verse 18, God said, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to, to, to live. That is a constitution. That is written. Then, when you now give it a voice, you now decree, no witch is power. Every witchcraft, personality, or power troubling my destiny expire. Now, you are giving voice to what has been written. That is a decree because you are decreed according to the government of your kingdom. Now listen, there is a difference between prayer and decrees. Just a major difference. Please pay attention, precious people. In prayer, you are talking with or you are talking to God. But in decrees, you are addressing issues. Not necessarily talking to God. Is that clear? When you are talking about decrees, you are not talking to God. You are not talking with God. You have talked with Him in verse 27 in prayer in the place of fellowship. Now, decrees, you are addressing issue. You are addressing matter. You say growth in your hand. You say growth. Die in the name of Jesus. Now, you are not talking to God now. Can I say something to you, beloved people of God? You, it will shock you. From Matthew to Revelation, there was no place in the Bible, the Bible said we should pray to God about Satan. Not one. He said, you resist him. Submit to God, then resist him. He will flee from you. He said, give no place to the devil. He said, don't be ignorant of his devices. He said, we wrestle. Did you understand now? So, when we talk about decrees, we are not talking to God in decrees. In decrees, we address issue. You don't say, oh, God, come and protect me from the witches. No. You address the witches. Do you understand now? That's right. That's right. But for a decree to be really effective, there are three things it must have. It must. It must. Or have that the thing must have number one you must know what the word says what is the constitution on this matter because the authority of our kingdom only backs what is constitutionally correct can you imagine a man um, praying for another uh, another woman's husband to die that because he want to marry the lady or, or vice versa a woman praying for uh, another person's husband to die because that is unconstitutional right it's not the nature of our kingdom so such decree is just a waste of time so when we talk about decree that we have effect it must be in tandem with the nature of our kingdom there are people that heaven is killing and 
folding up their page praying that that should not happen is going against constitution god said to samuel don't pray about saul i have closed up this chapter because the Samuel, Samuel was crying. This is the first king that anointed. I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to be a father of failure. Heavens, after several weeks and power months, heaven said, No, don't cry over Saul again. I have closed up the chapter. Fill your horn with oil. Go look for a warrior. Before you, you, you fill a flask with oil. That's how you anointed him. He said, But the next person now, don't fill a flask. God said, Fill a horn because it's going to be a warrior. Go look for him. The house of Jesse. So you must know that is why many times when I'm when I'm leading prayer, we give them scripture so that you can know what this is in tandem with God's kingdom. Secondly, you must declare what is written with your mouth. That is what that is when you become a decree. Micah chapter 6, verse 1. Just note it. The word of God says, Hear what the Lord will say. He says, stand before the mountain and let the mountain hear your voice. Let, did you hear what I, the, the word does it now? Let the mountain hear your voice. That devil, that witchcraft, that sickness. You don't say, God, deliver me. You, say, you face that sickness. Say, you sickness. That. He said, let the mountain hear your voice. Thus hear the Lord. Stand contempt before the mountain and let the mountain hear your voice. Speak. Because until you speak, heaven can't confirm nothing. So, number one, what is written? You have gotten hold of it. Secondly, beloved, give voice. Speak vehemently against that issue. That is when it becomes decree. And number third thing that a decree must have is there must believe in your heart. You must exercise faith in your heart. That those things you say will come to pass. You see that in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. If you do not doubt in your heart, but you say to this mountain, did you see that? The Lord just said, say to this mountain, don't pray to go about the mountain. He said, say to this mountain, bear. However, please understand the balance. Those who make the clear people who have time of fellowship with God. So when they, when they speak, he speaks through them. What is the power of decrees? I'll tell you four quickly. And then we're going to pray briefly and I'm going to bless you. I won't stay in the presence of the Lord. I want to bless you with a priestly blessing tonight. What is the power of decrees? This is amazing. Number one is capacity to uproot mountains or difficulty out of your way. You see that in Mark chapter 11 verse 22 to 23. And Jesus answered, said to them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, a bishop, a pastor, an usher, a woman, a man, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, not say to God, shall say, because this decree, whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, that is from the root, not be thou caught. Be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. He said, no prayer to God. So in decree, it has a capacity to uproot mountains or difficulty out of your way. I therefore stand in the presence of God tonight and decree over somebody's life. Every mountain that is standing between you and your promised land. Every mountain that is standing between you and your testimony tonight. I decree it to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. I stand by the authority of God in my mouth tonight. Maina molo subradia. Keliba runo subradia. For somebody tonight. That difficulty that the enemy has heaped on your way. By the power of the word of God, I decree, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. So number one, are there mountains in your life? Are there difficulties in your life? Having stayed in the presence of God, having fellowship with God, come down from that place, speak 
to that mountain and do not doubt. So as I'm speaking tonight, whether it's agent or devil or a spirit or personality or evil people, whatever mountain, whatever represent mountain, maybe a sickness, maybe a concern, whatever represent mountain, I decree again tonight in the name of the Lord of hosts, they are uprooted from the root out of your life in the name of Jesus. You know, my heart is filled with passion tonight. I see a lot of gifting, well wishes, a lot from several of you. And I want to really appreciate you for that for my birthday yesterday. Thank you so much for everyone. Your prayers, your blessing, your, your messaging, all manner, all manner. I really, really appreciate that. And that is why I'm coming here by the mantle and the grace of God on my life to decree tonight that whatever will allow you to celebrate God, whatever will allow your joy to be full, in the name of the Lord of hosts, they shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether it's sickness, in the name of Jesus. Secondly, quickly, what is the power of decree of those who abide in the presence of the Lord? Number two, is capacity to dethrone evil authority, both in the spiritual and in the physical. That's right. When you begin to decree, you can dethrone authority of air. You can dethrone evil powers, personalities that be reigning over your life or over a lineage. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Mommy Sipa, God bless you. Child of God, listen to me. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 13, beginning, it says, I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and a holy one came down from heaven. And he cried aloud and said thus, Hew down the tree, cut down the tree, cut off his branches, shake off his leaves, and scatter his fruit. Remember the Nebuchadnezzar? Let the beast get away from under it. And the fowl from these branches, scatter everything from it. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his root in the earth even with a band of iron chain him to the ground with a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field and let it be well with the dew of heaven and let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth that is letting eat grass like a beast i'm sure you remember the story bible readers right nebuchadnezzar he was so pompous he captured God's people and he thought, well, there is none like me. I made this great Babylon. I can capture any country that I wanted. I mean, he boasted a lot before the high heavens. But this is amazing. Look at a statement that was being pronounced. Shake the leaf out of it. Take him from on that. Let, let, let him eat grasses like, 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 like the beast. And let his heart be changed from man's heart. And let the heart of a beast be given to him. And let seven times pass over him. Do you, do you see what, what the specificity regarding the crease here? Now look at verse 14 where I'm going. He said this matter. Why the Holy One came from heaven to execute this word. Listen to this. He said this matter that is happening to this man now. Is by the decree of the watchers. Did you hear that? Not by the decree of God. You see, this is by the decree of the watchers. That is the intercessors. And the demand is by the word of the holy ones. To the intent that the living may know that the Musa ruled over, Musa ruled in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set it upon over it the basis of men. Did you understand what I've just read to you, precious people? Some watchers gather together like Daniel, like Nehemiah. They gather together and said, This man, let him know that the Musa is the one that put people in position. And they make decrees. And then 
His government was overthrown for seven years. He was there in the bush learning to be a zoologist. Let me speak to somebody by the mantle of Jehovah who called me. Every evil authority that refused to let you be. From tonight, heaven will send them into the forest. They will count all the leaves of the forest before they have time to attend to you again. Go, we send them to original rainforest. <laughs> have you been to jungle before? Heaven, I'm decreeing the name of the Lord of hosts. Ah, Lema Lomosuke. Did you see the decree of the watchers? They say, let him eat grasses like the beast of the field. I therefore decree by the word of God in my mouth tonight. Those who say they will not allow you to have peace of mind. Those that plan that the plan of God for your life will never come to pass because they have evil authority. I decree by the word of God tonight. Heaven will send them to the forest. And they will count all the leaves of the forest until they finish it before they can have time to your matter again. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is amazing. Let me tell you something that happened in this nation some years ago. There was a king that you dare not even mention his name in your bedroom with your wife. But some watchers gather together and they decree the wild wind of God against him. They decree, let the wild wind of God visit him and separate him from the power. It happened. Another great king in this nation, that one was a prince in this nation. They were bringing Bible to this nation because he's a man of timber and caliber. He asked them to sink the Bible in the river. The ocean or the, 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 the ship or the Bible that was coming, he asked them to sink the Bible and they sank the word of God. They sank the Bible. Because it's a person of power. Some watchers gather in this nation together and say, Father, we are making decree. Hang this man between heaven and earth. That his money will not be able to save him. His influence will not be able to save him. It happened. He perished in prison. Even though we later heard, well, we, we, that one is between man and the Lord, that he eventually met the Lord in the prison. And then the Bible became his companion. But with all the influence, he entered into the prison yard. He couldn't come out alive on it. Because certain watchers said, for the, show him that you are the God that raises people and deposes them. I want to speak by the authority of the word of God. Any evil king, evil authority over your life, whether in the physical or in the spiritual, they say, who are you? You don't have influence that we have, but we suppress you in the office. I speak by the God of heaven. They will go down before you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. I did my IT in Nadia Ziko Airport, Nabuja, many years ago. That should be 2006 or thereabout. The department where I work in the, in, in, in the, in the um, as an engineering student in the airport, the HOD there, I, I haven't spent three months there. I said I want to go to um, the SP Management Agency, NAMA, right? I said, no, you can't, you can't go here. It's whatever I tell you. <laughs> I said, this man didn't know who he's talking to. <laughs> we are God's children. You don't threaten a child of God. No. See, you can't. I said, what? I went on my knees that night. Oh, my God. The next morning, somebody picked me on my way to airport. And that person without struggle just walk out my exit from without even cons consulting him. And when I started working in general firm after graduation, uh, I was flying somewhere. Uh, we met an international wing. I greeted him. You couldn't believe it. Just less than two years when I was there as, as an IT student. 
The point is, if you are a child of God, no devil can determine your destiny. Stay in his presence and decree that evil authority will be hosted from their root. I therefore decree by the word of God again, any evil authority thinking we are, we are the one here, we are the one ruling here. No, God placed them here. But anyone that they want to play the place of God in your life, Jehovah will sweep them away in the name of Jesus. That is the power of decree. It dethrones evil authority. That is why we need to decree concerning our land. Number three, number four, and we say just a few prayer points and I will bless you tonight. Is anybody getting blessed by the teaching tonight? That is how I'm late tonight after my birthday yesterday to just come here today, release the word and bless your soul. Number three, what is the power in decrees? That is why I want to beg you in the name of the Lord. You don't pray at all a day, one hour in the spirit, in your room, in your house, wherever you are. At all, you don't pray at all a day. See, this, 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 this Friday, it's just to boost you. Let it be a daily affair. Fix a time with Jehovah. Because what God is looking for an, this entire is an army. It's not, it's not just I'm going to church. I don't know how to make things happen. No. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, what is the power of decrees? In Matthew 21, verse 19 to 21. And when Jesus saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves. Leaves only. And said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? That was an exclamation mark. What? You just said it. Jesus answered and said to them, Verily I say unto you. No, it's not about me. I only did that to communicate something to you. Do you understand what the Lord is doing? <laughs> oh, no one's like, there's no one like Jesus. There's something you want to get across to them. Say, hey, oh, you're a great man. He's not looking to be a great man. Mm, that is not the assignment of a teacher. It, the assignment of a teacher is to take the student to come to a level of mastership. Oh, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, do you say that? And doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall, it shall be done. He's not saying, see how great a man of God I am. See how powerful I have. I've just dried the tree. The focus is not on me. Even on me, I only come to the earth. I've come to show you the power of decrees. Number three, decree has the capacity to end any undesirable in life. Say this victory, you are done for. You never reign again. You never produce any fruit again. The master terminated the life of that victory. You know why? Just to teach us a lesson that if there are things undesirable in your life, you can cause it to wither. Growth, wither. Migraine headache, wither. Hypertension, die. Depression, die. Frustration, die. Liku separando superabia. One of my precious ones, she, she is connected. She had an encounter some um, times ago where she saw me asking her to open her mouth and I was pouring oil, anointing oil in her mouth. And after that, I said, lift up your, 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 your tongue and I pour another one and until the oil was pouring. And I said, that's a powerful encounter the Lord is giving you. 
Because the Lord will be placing authority in people's mind. I know when I had an encounter when the Lord sent a seraphim to put coal of fire in my tongue because of his assignment. Do you understand? All this, why is the Lord doing that for us? So that we can effect changes in our lives and within the jurisdiction he has committed to us. Do you understand what I'm talking about tonight? Therefore, you want to be a vessel of God, then you must be careful you use your mouth. If you are loquacious, you can't breathe your tongue, talk, 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 talk. The authority you, that you are, come, you are meant to wield, you will not be able to wield it. Listen, we have authority in God, please understand, to end any undesirable season in our life. But you know the issue? We don't stay long with him. We stay 30 minutes, we are tired, our Facebook is calling us. You understand what I'm talking about? YouTube is calling us. Skype is calling us. Which one again? So many social platforms calling us. WhatsApp is calling us. TikTok is calling us. Which one again? Please mention one for me. Instagram is calling us. But listen, listen. You want to get to a level where you can declare an end undesirable season, sister? You must learn firstly to tarry in the presence of the Father. For somebody, the Lord is speaking specifically to you. This is your word tonight. You know, I'm really, really trusting the Lord that very soon we're going to have 21 days night prayer every day, 21 days. No stop, 21 days. The last one we had was 14 days. One day we're going to have 21 days. One hour, one hour, one hour, maybe. But I want to challenge you, child of God. The activity of the kingdom of hell is on the rising. And people that carry genuine authority are diminishing. As a matter of people don't know who to believe any longer. Well, you have access to the Lord. You must develop yourself in His presence. Because when you become a person that can de decrease, you can end certain undesirable seasons in your life. Can I speak to somebody by the word of the Lord in my mouth tonight? Mayina kula bansiata. Every undesirable season in your life, I terminate them by the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mayene kuku palida diara. Season of pain. I command it to end in the name of Jesus. Season of continual sickness. Spending your money, your resources in the hospitals. Tonight in the name of Jesus. As you believe, I command that season to come to an end in the name of Jesus. Can I speak specifically to somebody? By the authority of the word of God in my mouth tonight. Maneria sukupolia. Kaine ketu supradia. That's right. Every season of negative pronouncement over your life, disappointment, and failure, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, it comes to an end tonight in the name of Jesus. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. Lastly, for tonight, what is the power of decrees of a king? This is amazing. In Esther chapter 6, verse 3, in fact, you can read the whole of Esther chapter 6. Mordecai had done a good thing for the king because Teret and Victor, they tried to assassinate the king and Mordecai tell the matter. But nothing was done for Mordecai. Until a particular night after they have saw the face of God in prayer and fasting for three days with Esther and her mate, the king could not sleep. Somebody will not be able to sleep because of you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. The queen could not sleep. And the king said in verse 3, What honor has been done to Mordecai for this that he has done for us? <laughs> and the servant said, Not has been done to him. While he's 
saying that hey man the enemy of the king uh, enemy of America came in and said oh the king said what should be done to a man that the king delight to honor and then he began to stipulate several things several things let the king give him uh, the best garment he has won let the king give him his own chariot and all manner let him. the king only made one statement go and do it to Mordecai. he doesn't need to shout that is decree when you are staying in his prayer, you don't need to shout what is number four decree has the capacity to program season of honor into a life that's right it has the capacity to program what season of honor he said go and do that to a man that is your enemy will be forced to honor you because a decree has gone forth on your life there are so many but these are the four i felt to share with us tonight so i want to speak to somebody in the name of jesus from tonight season of honor has come into your life season of heavenly importance as a god's vip is released on you in the name of jesus my inner coolia anywhere you go from tonight the importance of heaven the honor of god shall rest upon your life in the name of jesus the bible said god said to moses put some honor on joshua yes and then give him a charge a decree before the people Engulu batelia ba kukuma kakekeliata kovarande kurobuska where people have looked down on you the honor of God shall lift you up from hence in the name of Jesus Christ child of God as we conclude tonight we shall be making few decree as kings but remember Ecclesiastes chapter eight verse four he said where the word of a king is there is power. A king governed by decrees is not a democrat. Say, a king say, ladies, okay, should we do it or not do it? Is it I or nay? No, no, they are both. When is the matter of the kingdom? The king governs by decree. Lift your voice and thank him. Thank him. There may not be much prayer tonight because I'm just going to be decreeing over your life and then. We trust the Lord when we meet next. It will be from glory to glory. Lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you for season of honor in my life. Thank you for season to end the undesirables around my life. Thank you, Father, because you are programming something colorful, beautiful into my life. Thank you, Lord, because evil authority has been dethroned by the force of decrees. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray a few prayer points, maybe four or five, before I pray for you. Is that clear now? And the Lord is going to answer you. Listen. When we are making decree, we don't talk to God. We address issue. Have I said that? So say this one. Say any power or spirit making my path difficult. If you like, you can say making my life difficult. You are finished. Die in the name of Jesus. That's a decree. Say it again. Any power, any spirit making my path difficult. Making my life difficult. You are finished. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and address the mountain now. And whether it's marine power, witchcraft power, um, uh, uh, whatever power is that is, is inconsequential. But in the name of Jesus, any power, any spirit making my path difficult, I decree tonight you are finished. Die, expire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that word. Decree it in the name of Jesus. Release it into the atmosphere. And let the best carry. Let the authority of heaven carry your voice. In the name of Jesus. Let the mountain hear your voice. 
any power, any personality, any spirit, making my life journey difficult, making things difficult around me. I speak against you in the name of Jesus. Expire. Die in the name of Jesus. Somebody decree now. Decree that. Any power, spirit, personality, making my path difficult. Making things difficult for me from the realm of the spirit in the realm of the physical. I command you in the name of Jesus, expire by the power in the name of Jesus. Make decrees, make decree. You are not talking to God, you are addressing the matter in the name of the law. Remember, this is constitutional, uh, constitutional, uh, uh, constitutional wise, correct. I've told you that that's the other I'm preaching, my tongue becomes faster. Please talk to the Lord. Whatever it is, whatever is making life, my experiences in life difficult, in my business, in my marriage, in my academics, in my relationship, whatever is making things difficult from the realm of the spirit, expire, die, in the name of Jesus, I decree against you, die like that fig tree. Die like that fig tree. Die to your root. My constitution allows that. For sin, it is a righteous thing with God to repay tribulation to them that trouble you. And give to supragadas. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. In the name of Jesus. Please say with me, precious people. Say any mountain standing between me and my blessings. Standing between me and my inheritance. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Remember this is a decree. You are not talking to God. Any mountain standing between me and my blessings. Between me and my inheritance. Between me and my testimony, tonight in the name of Jesus, be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Address the mountain. What is that mountain standing between me and my testimony? What is that mountain standing between me and my blessings? Marepo sumbro doza kenderia. Herindulo poko kenderebe rutu ziande libre kuku brandelia. I decree right now. Every mountain standing between me and my next level, between me and my inheritances, between me and my blessing, I decree by the word of Lord to you, mountain, be uprooted now, sickness, be uprooted now, manipulations and manipulators, be uprooted now, activity of hell, be uprooted now, failure, disappointment, be uprooted now, speak to the mountain, speak. To the mountain, is it marine spirit? Be uprooted, witchcraft spirit, be uprooted, idol spirit, be uprooted, disfavor, be uprooted, rejection, be uprooted, sadness, be uprooted. Shagala baba bakule ke mekuka katerias na lebedi birabam baba kusubradia. Please say it again, say it again. Any mountain standing between me and my next level, between me and my blessing, be amika kukupa katege kukupa ratus karakukite. In the name of Jesus, be uprooted now. Be uprooted now. Me anaboli ama koko me andele boya. What is that? Is it a man mountain? Is it a sickness mountain? Is it a financial mountain? Maybe there's an important person you need to see. There is an agent or that thing that is done. You will never see the person. In the name of the Lord of hosts. That mountain is uprooted tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let me speak to somebody because that word is coming to me again in my heart by the Spirit. Whoever is blocking your way for climbing, from climbing to the next level, Whoever is constituting himself or herself as a mountain from seeing the other side of life, in the name of the Lord of us tonight, they are uprooted out of your way in the name of Jesus. Uprooted out of your way. You want to share testimony, but there is a sickness that will not let you go. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, 
Let that sickness that is standing as a mountain, let it be uprooted out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want to testify of the goodness of the Lord in your life. But there is a power that will not let your joy to be full. I stand by the word of God in my mouth tonight. Hey, made a bowl of bowl, sir. Because you believe in the name of Jesus tonight. Let the mountain be rolled away into the sea. In Jesus' precious name. That's right. That's right. I hear in my spirit somebody is a seasonal sickness that comes your way. Maybe every month. Maybe first week of the month. But whatever I'm hearing my spirit, seasonal sickness. At a particular season, this sickness will occur again and again. In the name of Jesus, by his word in my mouth tonight, I decree. Let that mountain be uprooted out of your life, out of your family. In the name of Jesus. For somebody is a concern for your loved one. Whatever is the mountain in the life of that child, in the life of that beloved one, let the God of heaven by the authority of the decree or put it in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. I want you to pray this one now. Say with authority. Say in the name of Jesus. Any evil tree or fruit growing in and around my life, please, this is a prayer point in parable. So when I say three, it doesn't mean physical three. Something is growing around you you don't like. Or there is a result around your life or your children or your grandchildren you don't like. Those are the fruit. We are going to command them now to die. Are we together? Uh, there is something the enemy is growing in your life. A, a sickness or something or, or bad, 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 bad words. People are saying things that, that, that is not true about you. Gossip that is never founded on truth. Say in the name of Jesus, any evil tree or fruit growing in and around my life, it is enough. Die in the name of Jesus. Speak with authority from his presence. It is enough. Die. What is that tree growing in my life or around my life? Evil tree. Evil fruit. Growing in my life, growing around my life, it is enough. Die like that fig tree, die to your root in the name of Jesus. Command the sickness to die to the root, command the hatred to die to the root, command the akure meri bi 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 kuruba zini di di manga bariku subri in gatola gateli babanduria kure di gigi guku brade kelia. Command the idol to die to the root. In the kula, agadeki prati supragadas. E panduli keke kuku parateska. Barushka delika kusapara. That's right, that's right. That person that always sees himself inside prison. I command that prisoner to scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. You always see yourself in an enclosed room. No window, no door. By the authority of Jesus, the Son of God in my mouth right now. I command that satanic prison to scatter. I command your soul to come out of every captivity. So that you can praise the name of the Lord. Any evil tree growing in your life. Kayima Namosa. Any evil fruit growing around your life. Let it die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name. Someone say, Amen. Let's pray two more prayer book, okay? Say, Father, from tonight, let season of honor and glory show up in my life. In the name of Jesus. Say it. From tonight, let season of honor and glory show up. That's right. That's right. Let it show up in my life. That's right. In the name of Jesus. From tonight, I decree let season of honor and glory show up in my life. Show up in my life. Show up in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leni di manamosa. Kinemandu robo sumbro. And di ganusu bro katakandu. From tonight. Let season of honor. Season of glory. Season of beauty. Show up in my life. Begin to show up in my life. Let everything around me radiate the beauty of the Lord. 
Let everything around me radiate the honor, the majesty, the splendor of the Lord. Kaimana Mosa, Krakatos Kuprandia, Gedelebo Sikaboda. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody I speak to you before we pray the last prayer point. In the name of Jesus, the King of Glory, from tonight, honor, glory becomes your portion. No more shame, no more reproach, no more ignominy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you believe tonight, I speak into your life by the word of the Lord. Season of honor, show up. Season of glory, show up. In your office, honor. At home, honor. In the feed, honor. Everywhere you go, season of glory, begin to show up in your life by the word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Lastly, tonight, there is A song is flowing in my spirit. You see the importance of choir now. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in His presence, God is here. I want to speak to you by the word of the Lord because the presence of the Lord is here. I told you the presence of God steals emotion. It calms your emotion. The power of God steers emotion. The power of God steers things. But His presence comes. In the presence is where authority is found. It is in His presence that decrees are made. I therefore decree over somebody by the word of the Lord tonight. Season of shame has closed forever. The chapter of shame and reproach has ended forever in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I address the spirit realm concerning your matter by the authority of the word of God. Lekina Barushke, for you poor all things by the word of his power. I speak by the authority of his word because you believe tonight. Season of joy, season of glory, Open up for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lastly, people of God, say, Father, from now on, anywhere I turn, let me see goodness and mercy in all I do. Open your mouth and decree this last prayer point. Father, from now on, anywhere I turn, let me see goodness and mercy in all I do. Let these two twins angel, let them begin to be, become my companion in all I do. From now on, from now on, anywhere I turn, let me see the angel goodness, angel mercy in all I do. In the name of Jesus. Holy Predigime Corrodo Sunderia Santa. Father, I stand in your presence to decree. Kaina Bolo Subre Inge Gigimi Kukumanga. Andri kuzupre, Andri kuzupre dia. That from now on, wherever I turn, to the right, to the left, in front and behind, wherever I go, in Nigeria, as a Nigeria, Father, I decree in your presence. Let me see goodness and mercy in all I do. Let me see goodness and mercy in all I do. Riku sakila koribi idekila. Riku sakategalas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Child of God, congratulations for being part of tonight's broadcast. I pray for you by the word of the Lord. From now, in your office, you will see goodness and mercy at work. At home, you will see goodness and mercy at work. Wherever you go, my in the kilaba, for it is written, are they not all ministering spirits? They are sent to minister for heirs of salvation. And because you believe, 
That's why you are remaining connected in this next program. You believe, I therefore declare over your life. Let these two angels begin to company with you. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. For somebody tonight, even your dream tonight, Lord, I decree that these angels will visit your people. Goodness and mercy. They have come to stay with you. They have come to abide in your house. They have come to abide in your destiny. Goodness and mercy. In the plane, goodness and mercy. On the road, goodness and mercy. In the office, goodness and mercy. In the kitchen, goodness and mercy. Receive this ministry spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Precious people, tonight the Lord has done you well. Lift your voice and let's thank the great one for what he has done tonight. Let's appreciate the ancient one. The one who is alone is to be glorified. The one whose name is highly exalted above the heavens. Let's glorify the ancient one. Let's glorify the I am that is I am. Let's appreciate the Father for the decree that has been made over your life tonight. Malabondo Korea Banzia. Ikelebo Sobrande Riboroto Sinde Riba Karababababayate. We bless you, Jehovah. We bless you, faithful Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Now I want to bless you as a servant of God. The Bible says the priest shall stay in my presence and they shall minister to me and bless the people. So I stand today especially because it was just my birthday some few hours ago. Just yesterday or we have had another day today now. I want to bless you from, with all my heart. So a lot of things, a lot of you did, a lot of gifting, a lot of people sending several things. It's amazing. It's amazing to have quality people. I therefore pray for you by the honor of the calling of God. From this moment, receive honor in your life. From this moment, let heaven send quality people around your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have that heaven excuse you from liability relationship and give you quality individual. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy and I decree by the word of the Lord in my mouth. From this moment, anything you don't want in your life, heaven also reject it out of your life. I pray for you by the word of the Lord. Balusu Kopolia, Genimela Supre de Kekulia. Any altar that is fighting your destiny. Any idol that will not let your destiny go. On this special day, I decree that the sword of the Lord in my hand be deployed to fight on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you believe tonight. Force it that use in the hour of the night to forsake your effort in the daytime. They are paralyzed forever tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your way open. Let your door open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let new season of freshness. That's right. New season of freshness come around your destiny. Hear this. If there is authority in God's word. I stand in that authority to speak into your life now. Let glory begin to germinate in your life. Let good things begin to pour out of your life. You have been hearing all that testify. In the name of the Lord of hosts. Just like the other lady, the barrister, she's connected. The angel visited her and brought her from the back to the front. But I pray for somebody tonight. Let tonight be a night of encounter for your life. That Jesus, the Son of God, is changing your location. Changing your address from the tail to the top. Kaina Bosch, that's right. From the tail region to the headship region. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, I decree by the word of God in my mouth. Every potential ever has loaded you in to manifest in this world. They shall find full expression in this season. In the name of Jesus. I bless you with the blessing of heaven. I bless you with the presence of God. 
as you sleep tonight, you will hear the voice of the Father say, you are the seed that the Lord has blessed. So shall it be. In your dream, be blessed. In your sleep, be blessed. In your waking moment, be blessed. As you go out, you are blessed. Anyone that curses you, heaven will curse them. In the name of Jesus, any covenant that rises against you, they perish on the spot. In the name of Jesus. As a servant of God, I bless you. And I decree your ways are opened. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you, precious people of God. Until I come your way again, this pastor Michael will tell you, the enemy of our soul is never in control. We have been factored to the end time as soldiers. And we shall fulfill that mandate. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Odi duro means my guarantor. Thank you. He's the one that's behind us. Thank you. God bless you. Sleep well in his presence. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 